Welcome Virgos, happy birthday. This is the third week of September. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Please remember to like and share these videos and share, share, share. Leave a message. This is your year reading for you Virgos. Virgos, remember you can also um, ask for a year reading, a personalized year reading, and that will give you a whole lot of initiative of what is coming up for you in this year. So whenever you ask for a personalized birthday readings, um, it's just $75. Give yourself a, a birthday gift. You can still ask for it. Um, and uh, uh, all birthday readings is going from the, going with a solar, a solar year. Okay. Now, I'm going to go with, um, first, I want to say thank you. Please like and share these videos. Um, let me know what is more comfortable for you guys. If I should give the name of what is going to come up or, um, just how you like, um, to find your videos. Is it psychic reading or is it what is going to be transpiring in the week? Um, I'm kind of changing up the channels because changes is out then. So let me know. First, I'm going to give you a whole bold comment here. And remember um, that it doesn't really matter if you were born on the 14 or on the 18. To, um, all these energies that is here is going to be affecting each and every one of you because you are connected in um, this year. And what is happening and transpiring is that you are going to be finding out how you're going to be dealing with issues and situation. And this is going to be absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Happy birthdays to you guys. All the people who were born from the 14th on the 20th. This is your solar year reading. So we see you're starting the solar year with some sort of information. You were waiting for some sort of information. Some information is going to be coming in where something is going to be leaving your life. But it was meant to leave your life because love is going to be coming in. Okay. So whatever is transpiring, a lot of you, something unexpectedly is going to be leaving your life. And then it's going to be replaced with the Ace of Cups. So it doesn't really matter which month it happens because we have a seven month period here of things which is going to be affecting you in these seven months. And then we go eight month, nine month, 10 month, 12 month. Okay. So each and every person is like a cycle that you're going through. So all of these energies is going to be affecting you. So if you start here where we have the energy of 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. If you, your birthday is on the 18th of all of September, you start out the first month with this energy of uh, balancing out your um, money and balancing out situation at work. And then you're going to be going the cycle and working the cycle. So this is your first month, second month, third month, fourth, uh, fourth month, fifth month, sixth month, seven months, eight months. So you will get this um, twice. You will receive your own energy twice where um, balancing. So if um, you were born on the 18, if you were born in the 18 and whatever that was happening in your life, there was some sort of a transition with work. It will happen in the first cycle for some of you, and then it will happen in the second cycle. But I would advise each and every person to do um, a private birthday reading, and you have it all the year around and know exactly what is coming up in your month. Be a member of the channel because that is going to be helping you. So people who take birthday readings, they always become a member of the channel. And as they become a member of the channel, what happened and what transpired is that they can see what is going to be coming up and extra things that is going to be affecting them in that month. Then we see the energy of uh, the... Um, no more worries, whatever the worries was, whatever the issue was and worries was, it is going to be okay. So you're coming in, receiving some sort of information that something is going to leave your life and it's okay because whatever the worries that you were having is going to be okay as you get to the end of this year cycle, okay? So ladies and gentlemen, before I do, let's go in. For the people who were born... Um, we're going to do the general reading. So the general reading and the cross is judgment is coming up on the Queen of Cups. Who is this Queen of Cups? There is going to be a huge judgment call on a 
Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpion, and a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person. Whoever these people, these two people are, apparently these two people are connected in doing something. Is it your parents? Is it um, a boss? Um, is it your aunt's relative? Who are these two people? They are adults and they're 50 years over. Some judgment call is going to be coming out and it has something to do with a child, some sort of an information where these two people had created some sort of an issue and it has to do with a child and I see truths are going to be coming out and it has to do with uh, um, a Pisces Cancer Scorpion woman. It's not showing up who she is, um, but these two people, um, whether young or old, have uh, collaborated to do something that has to do with a child and I see truths is going to be coming out. So a lot of you, it could be your parents, it could be your mother-in-law, your father-in-law, whatever the issue is, whatever um, that was going on, whatever uh, situation that has transpired, however this has transpired, it could be um, your parents and uh, um, secrets are coming out about your parents or it could be your grandparents. But whatever this is, I see people are finding out the truth about a child and some sort of a situation with the Queen of Cups and the, the um, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So it could be you men 50 years and older that uh, something, if you're married to a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion, you could find out that she has another child. That sort of a situation is going to be coming up. So be aware. So then we see love is going to be coming in. Um, some a situation is going to be transpiring. Someone is going to be leaving your life and it has to do with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Whoever this Aries Leo or Sagittarius is, is going to be leaving your life and some money is going to be returned to you. There is a transition that is going to be coming up. So you businessmen, be careful, be on the lookout. Um, your business could be getting good or your, yeah, your business could be getting good. So businessmen who had like some sort of a loss or some sort of a blockage in your business, um, it is going to be getting better and I see you're going to be coming out of uh, this um, year um, receiving a lot of uh, multiple contracts that is going to be coming in. It's as if the wheel of fortune, especially in work and business for each and every person, is going to be good in this world, okay, in this year. So this is the solar year and for a lot of people, men and women, business or work is going to be good. And if you have been out of work for a very long time, business is going to be coming in and a lot of work and opportunities is going to be coming up for you. And this is going to be good. If you look, you see that all the art breaks is going to be over, which creates positive energy where there is no more worries anymore. And this is going to be good. So congratulations. This is good. Um, news is going to be coming in that is going to be bringing your worries to an end. So this is your solar year. Okay. All right. Let's look at the people who were born on the 17. Um, I did, I wasn't finished. They say, go back. You're not finished. So I see some sort of information is going to be coming in and a Taurus Virgo or an Aries Leo or Sagittarius woman, um, an end is coming to her. Whatever she has done, it could be that you're in a relationship with this person. I see some sort of a truth, some sort of an information is going to be coming out about this lady. And I see you're going to be very, very successful over this lady. So whoever um, that was dealing with some sort of a issues, work issues, your mother-in-law, your mother, a uh, family member, some sort of information is going to be coming out over this woman. And I see you're going to be very, very successful over this woman. So some of you could have had some sort of an issue with an Aries Leo and a Sagittarius and a Pisces Cancer and a Scorpion. These two women could have worked against you um, and try to get away with it. And I see they have caught this cancer or the spicy cancer or scorpion person and there is no new offer that is going to be coming in for this lady whatever this lady have done the spicy cancer or scorpion and there's no new offer is going to be coming in for this lady what we see is some sort of information that comes out about the working these two ladies have tried to work against some of you 
and an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, and a Pisces, Cancer, and a Scorpion. And I see you are going to be successful because you're going to be finding out that some money that was supposed to come to you didn't come to you, and the money is going to be returned because we see the Wheel of Fortune in your reading. And the sun is over, being successful over these people. Some of you are dealing with these people from work situation, money that was supposed to come to you. They try to intercept the money, took the money. And I see truths is coming out now. And people are working together in order to return the money to you. And this is going to be good. And um, some of you were um, dealing with an old boss that is a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpion. And I see you're going to be victorious over this person. You're going to be receiving some news about this person and what this person has done. You have no regrets um, because um, of what this person has done and what this person has created in your world. So it could be an ex-boss who, who have created some sort of a false item and deceptiveness. I see truths are coming out and uh, um, you are going to be helped. Um, a whole lot of help is going to be coming in. What is so significant about this reading that no one, I don't think anyone have seen what is here. Number 88, whoever, whoever has stolen, and um, um, if a, a if an Aries Leo or Sagittarius woman has stolen a lot of money from you, they're going to be finding out that this lady has worked together with a Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpion woman, and see the collaboration of how these people had worked against you and took money from you. And some of you were not knowingly knowing what was transpiring. And I see this money is going to be returning because you can see the Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Pentacles. And then we have the Eight of Wands. So a lot of money, unexpected money is going to be returning to you guys because of some sort of a false height that was played around you. A whole lot of money is going to be returning for you. So let's go in the reading and see what is coming up for the people who were born on the 14th. We see you're going to be receiving some sort of a news and whatever this news is, is that something is about to leave your life, but it's going to be replaced by the Ace of Cup and this is good. So um, whatever is transpiring, it's going to be um, something leaving your life, but I see love is coming in and I see people are going to be communicating this love and appreciation to you guys. So whoever is born on the 14th, this year is going to be starting out on a really, really positive uh, um positive way because some sort of information something is going to be leaving your life that is going to be replacing whatever is leaving your life is going to be replaced with the cup of love universal love this is love that is sent from the universe and if you notice is the ace of cups and the ace of of swords the ace of cups and the ace of swords is always positive communication of love and positive communication that is going to be coming into you because it's as if they have found out and see what has happened and transpired and what was um, affecting you in your life coming in this new solar year. So congratulations to you guys that was born on the 14. This is good. You have the energy of the tower. Um, so you have number 16, number five, and you have new love is going to be coming in and positive communication is going to be here in this year for you. You're beginning the year with this energy. Then we're looking at the people who were born on the 15th. You have a 15th and debt, which is 13. Um, so a transition, transition, transition. No one is going to die. It's just transition, transition that is going to be coming up and it's positive transition. The only person that is going to be removed out of your life is this lady. Um, it is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius, whoever this lady is, she's coming up as an Aries for some of you. And this coming into this Aries, people have seen who this Aries is and what this Aries has done. I see a huge transition is going to be coming out between you and this person, whoever this person is, whether a mother or a mother-in-law or um, some sort of a relatives, whoever this person is, or someone who was your boss, this person is good. The transition is coming up for this person. 
and I see they're going to be either leaving the company or leaving their position okay so this is a transition they're not going to die they're just uh, transiting to another place another position or they're moving away from you or you are being released from this uh, um, um, energy that was coming up so debt for an Aries the or Sagittarius person um, and a whole lot of changes is coming up um, between you and this person because they're showing up in your reading and you were born on the 15th so be aware of this so huge transition whoever is dealing with a fire sign person some huge transition is going to be coming up for them that is going to give you positive alignment of energy moving forward some of you are going to be using this energy of uh, um, a fire sign um, using um passion in order to move yourself forward in your life and this is going to be absolutely wonderful absolutely positive then congratulations to the people who were born on the 16th of september this is going to be a very very good year for you if you were born on the 16th of september and some money you have lost a whole lot of money in the past it is going to be return okay so congratulations to all you people who were born on the 16th it is a good year it's a year of uh, um financial abundance financial stability and this is why i said this is a collective reading it is good to buy your own personalized reading because you would have seen this energy coming up for the people who were born on the 16th the energy of the sun is showing up uh, um that a whole lot of money was uh, stolen from you okay whoever and however this money a whole lot of money that you should have received you have never received this money and people are going to be finding out and is seeing what has happened and transpired and is going to be returning this money to you guys and this is going to be good so, so expect this year as unexpected money that is going to be coming up and it is going to be showing you and giving you a new start in order to move forward in your life in a very, very positive direction. So a whole lot of money that some of you um, should have had, maybe if someone died and left you this money, maybe this money comes from insurance. You know, it could be different ways this money should have paid out to you a very long time, never paid out to you. People are going to be finding out and it's going to be helping you to resolve the situation and it's going to be helping you to return the money. So congratulations. Um, you guys have the energy of the sun, so it's going to be a very, very good year for the people who were born on September 16th and a, a fantastic year where money is not going to be an issue. Um, so you have the sun, ten of pentacles, money, a, a, a huge sum of money is going to be returning to some of you. And the ace of pentacles, if you weren't working, um, I see work is going to be coming in drip by drip. You're going to be having a new job. You're, some of you are going to create your own, um, um, stability and this is going to be good. The center is judgment and it's for the people who were born on the 17th of september some sort of a judgment call is going to be coming up on your parents or your in-laws or your brother or your sister some sort of a judgment call whoever these people are they could be family member and it has something to do with a kid and something that they have done with a kid okay so a whole lot of judgment call and i see people are going to be protecting you in this situation because people are going to be finding out what people have done um, it, it could be your child that someone has stolen. It could be your child that people have taken for themselves. It is a whole lot of a situation. It could be that you are going to be finding out who is your mother or father, your real mother or father. So this is going to be a good year, but it's going to be positive because I see whatever is transpiring, it is going to be bringing you financial stability. So it's as if you were born by someone else, they died, they never have a child again, and the money is going to be returned to you. So that sort of a scenario is coming up. But a whole lot of you are going to be dealing with your parents, um, the mother-child issues and situation in this year. You have judgment, which is 22 and you have 
the um, energy of the masculine and feminine is just good to call upon the universal angels and guides to balance your masculine and feminine side and this is going to be good so congratulations we're looking at the people who are born under 18 you have balance and this is a good energy for you um virgos because balance is your zodiac energy and a lot of people are not aware that temperance is the energy of you virgos where balance is coming up it's number 14 it's about bringing changes and bringing back balance in your work life your money life your materialistic wealth okay and this is going to be good because i see a new offer of work is going to be coming up for you. So if you were looking for a job, if you were looking on, um, you have a business, if you were thinking about um, starting your new, your, your own business, yes, 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 it's going to be a yes. Um, and this um, new offer that is coming in is going to be bringing in a lot of business, but also a lot of financials to build in your world, a lot of business but also a lot of financial stability in your world. And this is going to be good. So again, you guys are having a good year, especially people who were born on the 18. This is a powerful year, a wonderful year where you're going to be. Whoever is starting a business is a yes, 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 yes. Um, whoever wants to start anything new is a yes, 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 yes. Um, go for it because it is going to be paying a big dividend for you. And uh, some of you are not even aware that someone realized um, your potential and is going to be creating a lot of wealth for you. And this is going to be um, absolutely, absolutely fabulous. And this is going, this is going to be changing your life in such a huge way. So uh, anything, any offers, any business offers, yes, go for it. You have balance, which is 14 and 115. Then you have the eight of pentacles. So uh, money is not going to be a problem. Then you have the two of wands where an offer of a job offer is going to be coming in. And it is going to be yes. It is going to be yes. Um, there is going to be a yes that is coming up. And this is going to be good. So as we look at the people who are born on the 19th, congratulations. You have the energy of the wheel of fortune. It is a wonderful uh, stability. Um, it is as if some of you, especially um, people who had lost their job, new jobs, new opportunities is going to be coming in and your worries is going to be over. It's going to be a powerful year. Another energy of eight. Um, and whenever the Wheel of Fortune comes up with the eight, anything that is eight behind it is always very good because it is letting you know that a lot of opportunities is going to be coming your way a lot of opportunities is going to be coming in your way a lot of business um is going to be coming in whoever is looking for a job it's going to be coming in a lot of uh, positive situation is going to be coming in i see whatever the heartbreaks that some of you were going through is now going to be over a new offer is going to be coming in and i see transition is going to be coming in in your world so um take this year and, and and make sure you use each and every moment in a very positive way because i see that it is going to be a very very um profound year for you and a lot of happiness and joy is going to be coming in for a whole lot of you so the wheel of fortune is one it is positive thinking but it's also zero the omega is going to be coming in and helping you the source of all things so is going to be helping you guys especially People who are going through a lot of heartbreaks, whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, and let go of the heartbreaks because now um, positive time is on the horizon. So you have the Wheel of Fortune, you have eight and you have three. Eight and three is 11. So there is also going to be some sort of a... Um, um, uh, duality that is going to be working where your spirit guide is also going to be working with you in order to get um, things and open up new doors for you in a very, very positive way. And this is going to be good. So positive, positive alignment of energy. Congratulations. When we look at the energy of um, the people who are born on the 20th, we have the energy of the world. The energy of the world is coming in. And I see 
um, wonderful possibilities is coming in with the energy of the world and what I'm seeing and, and, and how I'm understanding and seeing the truth of what has been happening and transpiring. I see um, new things. A cycle is going to be over and I see the energy of no regrets, no regrets with a situation where there was some sort of a, um, um, investigation or some of you were dealing with some sort of a legal issue where this is now going to be over. Truths are going to be coming in and people are going to be finding out the truth of what has happened and transpired. So whatever the issue is and the situation is and was your worries is going to be over and a cycle is now coming to an end with some sort of an investigation and I see truths are going to be coming out and whatever that was happening, some of you were dealing with the liberals and I see they're going to be finding out something about this young liberals and I see you do not regret um, whatever you have done um, because you've, you realize that um, there was a lot of situation that was not uh, honest that was happening. And um, what is is here now coming out is that people are definitely seeing the truth of the deceptiveness that was plain and how um, people have created some sort of a false eye to, around you. And now truths are coming out about what has happened and transpired. So um, a really, really positive um, year is going to be coming up for the people who were born on the 20th. You have number 21, which is three, five, um, and uh, uh, three and five is eight. So there is a lot of uh, unseen um, materialistic wealth that is going to be coming up for you guys. That is not, it's as if it's not tangent, but it is in the eaters. It is being prepared in the eaters and it's going to be coming down to you. So nine of swords, you guys end the year with and without worries. Um, this is good. Whatever legal issues there was, people are going to be realizing what has happened and transpired. People are going to be finding out the truth. People are going to be understanding what was transpiring. And uh, however this is coming up, but there was um, some of you who a Libran wanted a new chance with you and I see it's not going to be happening. So a, a Libran between the ages of 18 and 45 wanted a new start um, with you, but it's not going to be happening. So you men, um, um, it could be a child, it could be a young lover, whoever this Libran is, um, you are going to be putting a block on it, okay? Because this person wanted a new um, and you start with you and you're saying no, okay? Because you see, the energy of heartbreak is in the reverse. Is because this person have broken your heart before and you open up yourself to them and you're saying no to this person. So whether this Libran is in your life, whether young or old, there was some sort of a situation that was happening and transpiring. And I see now truth is going to be coming out. And I see that a resolution is going to be coming in. So a lot of you are going to be dealing with an Aries, the Aries Sagittarius, um, then you, and, and there is going to be a number 88 is, a, um, don't use it if it's your bad lucky number. Do not use eight if it's your bad lucky number. But there's a lot of infinity, abundance, infinity that is going to be coming out. A lot of infinity that is going to be coming out. And you have to be aware of this and be on top of your game. So I love you guys. I want to say please like and share these videos. Um, whatever is happening and coming up, please like and share these videos. Let me know how it went. Um, I'm hoping for you, whatever is happening and whoever is dealing with a fire sign person, whoever this person is, uh, a huge tall moment is coming down on this person. And some sort of an end is coming down on this person. And it's all because of money, okay? So whoever this person, I see um, some sort of a communication and they're going to be finding out something about this lady, whoever this Aries V or Sagittarius person is. I see a tall moment is coming down for her and it has to do with some money. And then I see some of you are going to be successful over this person. Some sort of a inf information is going to be coming in about this person. And I see people are going to be choosing for you and it's going to be accepting you for who you are. Gotta go. Namaste.